But when I buy my stereo receivers, guys, you know, I always wanted to have, you know, a good uh, stereos and different, you know, brands and looks. Because as a collector, guys, you have to have a nice stereos and collections. Here is a Sansui. It has his own sound signature. For a free 30 day trial. Beautiful piece. Not that powerful like my Pioneer and my Morantz. But you can enjoy listening to your uh, music. And if you want to listen to your radio, this is a good piece. I mean, you know, it's not really. Utilized amounts up to four inches. That it's not really strong strong but it could give it could deliver a good quality sound so that you can just enjoy and listen to this receiver and many folks out there guys when they buy their stereos you know a lot of folks that i noticed that they really wanted to buy the expensive ones and they wanted to you know um prove it and show it that you know they are paying top dollars for their stereos and they want to really want to have the best stereos many folks has a lot of money of course they want the good stuff they want the good stereos and they want to have the top quality stereos it's because they wanted to have it for themselves and you know they want to have the really uh the good and the best stereos and to me guys you know um what i have here this is not one of those you know expensive expensive stereos it's because i have too many reasons guys um I don't want to pay a lot of money for my for my stereos because if I do pay a lot and if I buy those heavy heavy stereos and to be honest guys this here the stereos here they are already heavy but they have stereos and receivers out there that is bigger than this heavier than this and it's hard to carry there's I have many reasons why I don't want to buy you know um, expensive expensive stereos from the 70s and the other thing guys if it breaks then i have to fix it i have to take it to the repair shop and it's gonna cost a lot of money but this stereos here that i have i'm happy with this and it's a good stereos as you can see different types of stereos and definitely guys you will enjoy listening to this pointed out there is i mean you know how many people that can have this nice looking stereos from sansui pioneer morantz and this is already satisfying my needs because these are good stereos and going back to the topic guys about the power you know like i said if you're gonna buy or people out there that they don't have clue yet they just got into this hobbies the bigger the better and the more watts you can check it in the back how many watts how many speakers can he handle and you know the heavier the better so definitely guys this 4430 here it's a nice piece and it gives me a good quality sounds. So if you, yeah, if you listen to this with my turntable, guys, powerful, powerful. And so is this one. This one, not really, but it could just give you a good sounds that you can be satisfied just listening to radios. This is not a very powerful. <laughs> This is not the 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90 dB that will push a lot of power. But it's a decent brand. It's a decent stereos. 
and these are made in Japan. So I always buy Japanese made guys because that's how I want it. And Japanese lasts for a very long time. And I have Japanese stereos that until today still working, still function. So that is why I love Japanese stereos. But many many stereos out there from different countries that they made you know, made in Europe, made in Japan. It could be made in, you know, uh, Germany. It could be made in Canada, you know. So, um, uh, I apologize if I said made in Japan, um, but I'm talking about in Europe, maybe in Germany or in Canada, you know, and still it has a beautiful, beautiful uh, looks and the sounds but a lot of people guys a lot of people out there they love japanese made because back in the day when it's speaking about uh stereos in the 70s japan built a beautiful uh, stereos that it will last for a very long time and a lot of people back in the day those older people uh, they buy japanese made because they start building a lot of making a lot of stereos from the 70s that made in japan so they know the quality they know how it looks they know the beauty of it they know you know the vintage looking and they buy a lot of those uh, japanese made and back in the day guys in the 70s they start you know japanese um building stereos and they become popular because they are in the front line. So they are making and making and making, you know, all this Pioneer, Moran Sansui's, Akai, you know, JBC, all these Japanese stereos, Lafayette, Luxman, all this Harman Kardon and Sony and all this. So back in the day, guys, they are making a lot of money. Yeah. So people are just buying and buying and, uh, you know, they have stereos in their home because back in the 70s, this is the stereos that came out and, you know, um, it's not modernized yet. So they don't have a choice, but either this receivers or those trend, uh, radio trends, uh, what do you call that radio? Um, that small box radio from Panasonic or those Japanese brands, you know, they do they call that transistor or something? No, not transistor, but those radio, um, small radio, and this. So if you if you wanna buy a big stereos back in the seventies, so this is the one. But some people they buy those antiques, uh, small radio, and that you can just put it on top of the counter and you can turn it on and you can hear the click the knob when you turn it some of them are plastic some of them probably wood but definitely guys you know old old stereos back in the day and so is this guys even though this this is all vintage but the sound quality guys that's what people loves the vintage until today because people love to have this stereos even though they are vintage plus when they keep it for a very long time for 10 years 20 years and when they sell this the price goes up you know they don't really go down that much especially the morants yeah so the morants guys it's like a mercedes-benz so even though 10 years 20 years still the price is up there even though they depreciate a little bit, but it's not going to go down, go down like that, you know. Um, this one might, because this is a small Sansui, but this one might uh, go down a little bit, but still, it's pricey and it's a good stereo. But this one, Moran's, guys, of course, you know, price of that is just crazy until now. And I've seen it in eBay. A lot of people nowadays, when they sell their stereos, the price went up. Most of the people that sell in eBay, price went up. It's high. And 
I don't know why, you know, um, people still buy it. I guess they have money or they use their credit cards. But I noticed five years, 10 years ago, the price in, you know, in eBay, it's not like that. You know, you can get this for maybe $100 or $85. You know, maybe this one here, you can probably get it for like 60 bucks. And this one here, probably you can get it for 200 who knows back in 10 years but today guys the price in ebay is just way up way high and you know shipping and handling is crazy so it's because of the inflation and you know people need money people want money people want profit and you know it's overrated so i bought this on time before covid and i got it in a good good price you know except for this one but this and that one so I did not suffer, I did not feel that pain, and you will pay more than 400, 500, 700, and shipping and handling, because today, after COVID, inflation, economy, everything went up, you know, so it's too high, guys, and, you know, I feel bad for those people that they will pay overpriced for their stereos vintage stereos because not all vintage stereos are expensive it's only you know um picks you know which one is expensive like that one is expensive this one this one yeah this one is expensive now i've seen it like 300 400 dollars in ebay and in ebay guys they don't care and if you don't know about the price if you're a buyer they don't care you buy it or not you know it's up to you so they just throw prices there and it's just way high guys so i don't know how people can just buy that i guess they don't have a choice but i'm lucky i have this already and this three nice vintage stereos it's beautiful beautiful vintage and the quality sound guys the quality the quality the quality sound guys it's amazing amazing stereos and i have more stereos but today i'm just making i'm just filming this three different you know uh vintage stereos that they look similar because of the lighting so you can see and the b meters you know they have b meters on the left so I'm very happy with all my stereos, guys, because they are not easy to find now a days and they are pricey. So I will keep this maybe five, ten years. If I want to sell it, then I'll sell it for a good price and I will get my money back. Yeah, so definitely I will sell this in eBay, too, and Facebook market and offer up so whoever wants to buy it but not not at this moment so definitely it's a beautiful piece guys you can see the beauty of this three vintage stereos from different brands and you can see the beauty of it you know but the the sansui 9090 db guys it's my it's my dream receiver you know that is my dream receiver but it's very expensive guys it's it starts from twelve hundred dollars up to seventeen thousand seventeen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars so it's uh, way way expensive and i'm really you know um scared if something happened if it breaks because that's gonna cost a lot of money it's a big stereos guys like my pioneer like this probably the same size as you can see yeah you can see the different the the size the, you know same thing like this so this thing is a big receiver and so is the sansui 9090 db and because these are these are been out for decades and you know lucky me i mean it never breaks you know it never breaks you know still working in a good condition you know i guess because this is made in japan but if this is made in other countries especially in you know the country if you guys have idea what i'm saying um probably would not last for a very long time so i'm not gonna name that country but it's somewhere in asia you know uh, close to japan and 
Japan has a good reputation, good name, good brand, good stereos. And that is why I buy Japanese made all the time. So this beautiful piece, guys, you can never, you know, regret because it's beautiful, beautiful. And I love my stereo receivers and, you know, I enjoy listening to my stereo receivers. So um, the value of this, guys, if you're talking about the value of the stereos, um, this is like about $800 now, you know, depends on the condition. Yeah, plus shipping, that's close to a thousand dollars, and this one is about three hundred, four hundred nowadays. You know, um, plus shipping. So this one here probably three to four hundred if it's a mint condition. You know, so this one I can probably if I want to sell this probably two seventy five to three hundred, and total guys, you know, this is probably almost to two thousand dollars this three if i sell it in ebay so that is the price today the economy and the inflation and you know um the price that people sell nowadays online in ebay so um nobody's forcing to buy it nobody's forcing you to get it if you want to buy it then you buy it if you don't like the price then ignore it that's how it goes with business, you know. So, guys, um, today we talk about, you know, the, the sound quality, the power of the stereos and the price, the value of the stereos. So, this three, guys, has value and has price. And if I sell this in eBay, I'll definitely make money, um, especially for that, especially that Morantz. Yeah. And so is this one. So is this one. But this one is, has a high price has a high value because it's Morantz Morantz is Morantz I don't care nobody says but Morantz is Morantz so Mercedes is Mercedes so the same thing so guys yeah another video here and another topic for today that I can share with you guys about stereos and about collections and I hope uh, you enjoy watching this video and if you did not click the subscribers please do and thank you for doing that and click all so guys i will see you again next time and thanks for watching guys and enjoy your collections your stereo receivers so guys for now i say bye bye